Timmy, so staring in the mirror, asking where I was from often. I know this type of power here's gonna cost me. This is amazing when you really think about what K-Dot is saying. A timid soul who stares at the mirror asking where he was from. Just imagine being in Los Angeles at 616 trying to make it home before it gets dark outside. Then someone from another hood stops you to ask you the question that most of you are thinking already. Where are you from? K-Dot is describing how he's always been quiet and laid back, but has been used to people pressing him and trying to disturb his peace. When K-Dot mentions that he's staring at a mirror asking him this question, he's referring to how it was his own people and gangs, as well as himself at a time. As far as knowing that this type of freedom is going to cost him, that is K-Dot playing with concept of being a messiah that has to sacrifice his peaceful freedom to defend himself and show what real power is with lyrics. The idea that K-Dot is not really from the streets and a hood is not something that I care about because if he really is, that's great that he is not promoting it to the youth. If he isn't part of any hood, that's fine as well because I never heard him actually claim any hood. The point is, regardless of what hood he might or might not be from, he is absolutely connected with enough people to know that he has power and influence with certain sections of Los Angeles. When it comes down to the list of possible 616 concepts, this is also the date of Nicole Simpson's funeral in California. K-Dot already made a reference that Drake's upcoming show in California might be his last. Of course, this is all just lyrical warfare, but as far as a shot, this could be viewed as K-Dot putting a no-fly zone for Drake in California. With K-Dot calling Drake a twin of Sexy Red, it is not far-fetched to think that K would be using Nicole Simpson as a reference for Drake in California. Let's see what's next.